on October 31st, 7 pm. A large curtain was caused around Shibuya and many sorcerers are called to the scene. Professionals and Jujutsu High students are broken into four teams and verified on the situation. Meanwhile, the civilians trapped inside Shibuya and forced to call for Satoru Gojo. Eventually, their police are meet and the strongest sorcerer arrive to the scene. Outside curtain and uh, Anoya Cemetery, Yuji want to hurry to back up his teacher. But Meme does not take it that seriously. Soon she receives a call and is informed that another curtain was just appeared at Meiji Shigiram Station. The team head toward their target a uh, Gojo encounter Jogo, Choso and Hanami at the Fogotono Line platform V5F. The only viable escape route is blocked by Hanami's routes, and many civilians are pushed into the railway station. The curses began slaughtering the non-sorcerers, wanting to create a blind spot for Satoru Gojo. Jogu and Hanami get closer and activate domain amplification in order to get past Gojo's infinity. The strongest sorcerer dodge in the time. He realized was the curse spirit's plan. Before the incident began, Gato and Jogo summarized that their best chance at beating Gojo is putting him in a crowded location. Having realized the arrogance of the curses, Saturo takes off his blindfold and promises to take Hanami down first, since the planned curse still had not learned his lesson. Strongest sorcerer approaches the curse spirit and battle resumes. Gojo confu confesses Hanami by only using cursed energy and sides the opponent to rip out spirit optical roots. Ignoring Chozo, Saturo strengthens his limitless technique and curses Hanami, exercising one of the unregistered special grade. Meanwhile, Meimei team is informed of a new curtain around the Fukuoka Shin line platform. They are verified on the certain restrictive nature and told that there is possibility of transfigured humans being spotted in between the two curtains. Meimei uses her technique to scout through the Magi Jongam's station figured out that, however, activated the circle curtain edge between B1F and B2F. She assumed that Yuji would prefer the battle one strongest spirit rather than several transfigured human, so she sent him to the location of the bigger threat. As Yuji entered platform B2F, he comes across a cursed spirit. He realized that the curse edge protecting a Commissioned curtain and attack him after he comment on the test of humans. The locust test boosts about his intelligence, only to be shocked when Yuji easily figure out he is a grasshopper curse. The curse spirit's power originated from humanity's resentment toward the grasshopper's flag. He quickly fight back against Yuji, still boosting about his intelligence. Despite the psychology, Sukna's vessel overpowers the grasshopper curse and take him down thanks to the raw scale. After the commissioned curtain is destroyed, Mahito heads toward platform BF5. Jogo tries to fight Gojo Saturo on his own, but he can't do much. Jojo's attempt to help were also largely in vain. As Gedo and Dagon watch on, Mei Mei's team runs through B4F. They encounter a transfigured human and come to a terrifying realization. A train arrives at platform BF5, civilians rush toward it, but the vehicle is filled by Brahm transfigured human who burst out and bring slaughtering the helpless non-sorcerers hostage. Mahito exits to the last train, exciting about the air full of fear. The human curse join the battle using body rappel along Chojo's supernova to crush and kill a large number of people. Jogo fainted and attacked. Knowing that Gojo's personal limit is to avoid killing civilians and with his own hand. Even if he is willing to let some die because of curses, country to the spirit, expedition Saturo activate his domain expansion, ultimate void. He did so for a more 0.2 second, just enough to briefly incapacitate every wing on the platform. Within the next 299 seconds, 
the strongest sorcerer Gojo Satru alive had annihilated all the transfigured human that were released on platform B5F immediately after Gato activated the present realm. Prior to the Shibuya incident, Gato had explained the condition of the present realm to the unregistered special grade Jogo and Hanami. Among these was the Gojo needed to be within a 4 meter radius of the item for 1 minute upon activation. The loophole was that the 1 minute had to last inside Saturo's mind. The curse user made use of the fact by walking out in the open, letting Saturo see him. As memories flooded the sorcerer's mind, he is trapped in the present realm. Gojo recognized, however, is standing in front of him, an imposter, Shudo Kato, reveals his brain and explains that he coveted cause spirit manipulation and the Saguro body being elected in fact helped him. Meanwhile, one of Makamaru's small puppet tried to contact Yuji. Back at the station, the imposter addressed Gojo and mockingly bids him tonight. To Beji, Gojo replied by saying that it means be good night for him, but for the him, it's time to wake up, possibly appealing in the remain of consciousness left in Go Gato's body. Gojo then asked Gato how long he is going to let somebody else use his body, and Gato's arm suddenly grabs his own neck. Shudo Gato consciously noticed that it is the first time something like this happened. Mahiro come to their location after getting over being stunned, which the person explained the Mahito that his theory that the soul come before the body is wrong. Mahito replies that it meant to be different for people since their techniques are so different. To which the person replies by saying that, the, that he likes the technique the dedicated their world. Gojo tell them it just to get this over with to which the person reply to admitting that he is correct and close the prison realm and drop the cube into his hand. Mahito comment about how they can't use it anywhere and the person says that only one person can seal within unless they kill themselves. Back to the canal, Mei Mei ask why they should believe Kakochi. Kokochi replied that the proof is that he is there and explained how he did die day before and that the one talking to them is nothing than a continuously plan that he had come up and just in cautious happened to him. Kokochi says that he had eliminated both Yuji and Meme as being a mole within the school. Meme asked why he eliminated them. Which Kakoji says that Yuji has only been a part at Jujutsu World for a few months and Meme was sent to Meiji Jingome Station instead of staying at Shibuya. Meme replied that she could just not be following orders. Which Kokochi then asked, Why are there two cards users following them? Meme noticed that there are two following them and ask Yuji if they are stronger than the curse that he had faced. Which Yuji replied that the curse users are strong. Mei may wonder where the two were hiding and suggesting they continue down to the tunnel where Gojo is at. Kakochi tell them that there are four screens in Shibuya and that one of them screen blocks sorcerers from entering. Mei may trying to contact others but then notice that the screen is blocked them from making calls. Kakuchi then suggests that Yuji showed a back head and Miyajung Mei station that head back to Shibuya from above ground. Kakuchi tell Mei Mei to create a path for Yuji go to throw the curse users, which Mei Mei asks if Kakuchi's bank account is not frozen. Kakuchi finally tell them that will have to put their lives to the line since they will need Gojo to save Jujutsu world and human society. Uyui asked what he can do. Kakuchi says that he can choose which he says that he will stay and his sister. As the curse users show up, Mei Mei, Yuji and Uyui prepare 
Back at the Shibuya station, Chozo and Jogo get over being stunned and meet up with Pseudo Geto or Kinjaku and Mahito. As the imposter is about to discuss what they are going to do, the present ram suddenly falls it way to the ground. Inside of object, Gojo comments about how time Jajan flow in the object and that he has matched up. Gojo then says that fine. He has faith in everyone. Outside of screen surrounded Shibuya, the group that are standing head inside the screen and rescue citizens since curse spirits are attacking, attacking to the citizen. At another location, Lilichi contact Akari and inform her that they is constructing communication with the other managers when he is suddenly attacked by Haruta that heart attack during the cultural event. Haruto is told by someone to head ground the screen and attack everyone who is wearing suit. Which Haruto agrees and announces that he will head inside the screen. At the Shibuya station, Mahito wonders what is going on which Geto explains how the seal is completed but the prison run will need time to process. Gojo before they can move it. They noticed one of Kakuchi's devices Mahito destroyed. At Yuji's location, Kakuchi informed Yuji that the enemy can't move Gojo even though Gojo is sealed. Kakuchi then processes the plan where the sorcerer will attack all at once when the screen surrounding Shibuya come down. Just before they enter the screen surrounded Shibuya, Kakuchi informed Yuji that he can get in contact with Lichi.